Hi everyone, and welcome to this introduction to FLIR Insight, the new tool from FLIR that organizes and simplifies your thermal inspections. In this video, we will see how FLIR Insight can help you prepare thermal inspections, make data collection easier, and share your results with colleagues and clients in real time. FLIR Insight consists of both a web-based tool and an app that goes with it. We will look at how they work together with your FLIR thermal camera to save you time, increase the quality of the thermal data you collect, and make that data available. To get started, go to FLIRinsight.com. Register by entering your name and email address. Verify your email address and choose a password. When you enter, click My Account. Edit your details and add a role description. And select a profile picture. Your name, profile picture, and role will be shown as you share information with coworkers and clients. Select whether to display temperatures in Celsius or Fahrenheit, and whether to use meters or feet, and which logo to include in your reports. Under Storage, see how much space you and your collaborators have used. Collaborators are typically coworkers that perform inspections on the same assets, sites, and customers as you, and are easily invited. Insight includes a certain amount of storage and collaborators in the basic tier. If you need more, just upgrade with one of our affordable plans. To start preparing your inspections, create a new customer. Enter a name and a short description. Click to open the customer you just created. Create a new site for this customer. Every customer has one or more sites. In the site, you will see ongoing and completed inspections, all empty for now. Open the Asset tab and create a new asset. Enter the asset ID or name, something unique allowing you to identify the asset later. Click on the new asset. You can enter the type of asset, where it is located, and add a description. On the asset page, you see the results of historic inspections of that asset. Since adding assets manually can be time-consuming, you might prefer the Batch Import function. Open or export a list of assets to Excel. Arrange them so that you have Asset ID, followed by Category, Location, and Description. Remove any header row and save the file as a tab-separated text file. Make sure the file is formatted as UTF-8 if you have special characters. And import. You are now ready to create your first inspection. Head over to the App Store to download the Inside app. When you open the app, you will see all recent, ongoing, and completed inspections. Clicking the plus sign in the bottom right corner will create your first inspection. Enter the name of the inspection and click Next. Choose one of the customers you have previously created or create a new one with the plus sign in the upper right corner. Choose which site and which assets to include in your inspection. Open the inspection and you see a list of the assets to be inspected. You can download into offline mode, add additional assets to the inspections, or write a note. Click on the asset you plan to inspect first Click on the asset name to see details. Here you will also be able to see historic inspections of the asset. Currently, there is no camera connected. Click the camera icon in the lower left corner to start and initiate camera connection. You will need to connect via Wi-Fi to the camera. Head over to the Wi-Fi settings on your phone and on the camera. You will find them under Settings and Connections. Select whether you want the camera to share Wi-Fi or connect to an existing network. Input the password shown. Back in the app, the Choose Camera button should now turn blue. Select the camera you want to connect. There are several ways to import images. In the Asset view with your camera connected, images are automatically uploaded as you take them. Click to see more details and make changes. Through the seamless integration with Tools Mobile, you can add or edit hotspots, change palettes, and more. To use another image, replace it. You can either choose the latest image taken with the camera, select an image from the camera storage, 
or upload one from your photo gallery. Browse the camera storage until you find the image you need. Click on the image of your choice to import it. Scroll down to view the image parameters, thermal and electric measurements. Go back and set the correct status and add notes. Head to your inspection and you will find your newly inspected asset at the bottom of the list. Continue your inspection until you have inspected all the assets. When you have completed our inspection and are ready, review your results and share with clients and colleagues. When you have checked your results, mark the inspection as completed. On the asset page, you can see current inspections and study the asset history. The asset history shows the results of all inspections made on that asset. It allows you to go back and review the results of all your previous inspections and can be crucial in determining whether there has been temperature changes indicating potential issues. Click to generate and send a quick report to yourself. The report which can be sent from the app as well is automatically generated based on a predefined template. It includes a table of contents providing an overview of the status of all assets in the inspection as well as a page with the results of every asset inspected. Head back to the customer page. You can also share results by inviting customers to review the inspections in a secure portal with the click of a button. When invited to share the results, customers will be able to review all their inspections and the asset history, but not make changes. Insight also offers the ability to work collaboratively on inspections, customers, and assets with your colleagues. Invite a collaborator, and after accepting, your collaborator gets access to all the customers you have created. With FLIR Insight, you make sure that all your inspection data is efficiently and uniformly connected, organized, and shared in a consistent way. Try it out today!